All right, uh, John David Ebert here. Um, just announcing what the next uh, course will be. Uh, we're doing Philosophies and Mythologies of World History, and this will start on Saturday, May 13th, and it'll last for seven weeks down to Saturday, June 24th. It'll be at 2 p.m. MST, uh, and it will run concurrently with my course on Tomas Mann's great novel, The Magic Mountain. We'll be reading The Magic Mountain from uh, noon to 2 MST, and then we'll be discussing philosophies and mythologies of world history from uh, 2 to 4 MST. Uh, and they're not unrelated. Mon deals in the Magic Mountain. He, he deals with cosmic cycles as well. So what we're going to do is look through uh, philosophies and mythologies of history, starting with the great Indian cosmic cycles, the Maha Yugas, the Krita Yuga, the Trita Yuga, the Dvapara Yuga, and then ultimately, of course, that will lead us into a discussion of the Kali Yuga, uh, which we will go over uh, in detail. And then we'll contrast this with the Zoroastrian worldview, uh, the Persian worldview, which is not cyclical, but of a single arc, uh, one single shot of history that lasts for 12,000 years. And there are four uh, distinct epochs during that period. And, of course, the Hebrews were inspired by the Zoroastrians um, after Cyrus returned them to their, Cyrus the Great uh, returned them to their homeland. And when they assembled the Old Testament, of course, what we get there uh, from Genesis, and then ultimately, of course, with Christianity, uh, Genesis, crucifixion, and apocalypse, uh, it ends up being three phases, but it's a single shot. Uh, once the last judgment comes, and we'll look at the, uh, the last judgment as well, uh, once that comes, then that's it. That's the end of history. So we'll contrast these paradigms. Uh, and then we'll actually move into uh, discussions of the actual philosophies of history, which begins with Giambattista Vico's book, The New Science, which is published in the 18th century, and which was heavily influential on James Joyce when he wrote Finnegan's Wake. He followed Vico's model. Um, so we'll go through Vico's model, which moves from the age of gods to the age of heroes to the age of men, from theocracy to aristocracy to democracy, and then eventually to the recorso, which is the disintegration phase. We're in that right now. We're in a Viconian recorso, the, dis the disintegration phase that comes uh, as democracy disintegrates. Vico was the first to figure this out. And then so we'll go from there and we'll look at Vico's influence on Goethe, uh, <clears throat> but also uh, uh, we'll go through Hegel's philosophy of history. He has a series of lectures that um, uh, gives uh, a philosophy of history, the, the German sort of, sort of version of it, the idealist German version of it. So we'll read that. And then uh, we'll also go through Goethe's uh, short paper, uh, which was influenced by Vico. He has a short paper on, on the stages of mankind, uh, which then influences, of course, Oswald Spengler. So we'll have a discussion of Oswald Spengler's uh, Decline of the West, and then we will look at uh, Arnold Toynbee's study of history. We'll compare and contrast both of those uh, in two separate classes. And then finally, we'll end with the American version of all of this with Carol Quigley. Uh, <clears throat> Quigley's uh, book, The Evolution of Civilizations, which is very, very good. Um, I don't think it's quite on the level of Toynbee and Spengler, but uh, it's the best uh, American thinkers can do. America doesn't really produce great intellects the way Europe does. Um, so we're going to go through all of these, and uh, here's the curriculum. Uh, introduction to the philosophy of history, we'll start with that. Then Indian cosmic cycles versus uh, the Old Testament, but also we'll, of course, discuss Zoroastrianism behind that. Vico's New Science, Hegel's philosophy of history, Spengler's Twilight of the Evening Lands, which is actually my preference for the, the translation of his title, Der Untergang des Abendlandes. Uh, there is a book that uh, translates it like that, Twilight of the Evening Lands. It gives a sunset image that you don't get when you translate it as Decline of the West. And Spengler specifically had that sunset image. And also with the idea of, in the Egyptian cosmology, <clears throat> Amenti is the underworld. And it is where the sun god Ray goes on a daily basis as he descends with his cosmic barge down into the underworld, travels underneath the earth on a cosmic Nile, and meets with the god Osiris, the lord of the dead, who regenerates him. And this happens every night. Uh, so Spengler has, uh, Twilight of the Evening Lands, he, he has these implications, these mythological implications uh, behind uh, his, his original German title. And then we'll look at uh, the British uh, empiricist response 
to Spengler coming out of the German idealist tradition of Goethe and Nietzsche, uh, especially. So we'll look at the British uh, Anglo empiricist response with Arnold Toynbee's uh, study of history, which was, of course, originally tw 12 volumes. I haven't read through all 12 volumes. There, there's no way I can slog through that. Uh, not at this point. Um, so, we'll, But there are two very good abridgments, one done by D.C. Somerville as a two-volume ab abridgment that I highly recommend. It's excellent. But then at the end of his career, uh, Toynbee did his own abridgment, a one-volume illustrated edition that he did, I think, in 1972, if I remember right. Uh, that's absolutely excellent, and I highly recommend that. So we'll, we'll look at that. And then finally, again, Carol Quigley and the Evolution of Civilizations. I have priced this low at $250 to enroll. Uh, so you just click on this. Uh, I'll put the link uh, below, and you can click on this. Uh, uh, I have previous classes on here as well that are for sale. Uh, they only allow three of them on this page, but I think there's, I think we've actually completed 10 classes. My school's been up and running for a year now, so uh, we've gone through 10, 10 courses. So I just put on here uh, the Nietzsche class for 150 uh, the Thomas Mann class is also only 250. Um, the Rudolf Steiner class actually is is 150 because we've completed it now. We we just finished it. Uh, what is it? Two two weekends ago. So I need to amend that price. If you want these classes, um, they're when you uh, subscribe to one of these classes after the course is finished, uh, you get the eight video lectures. I do a, a separate video lecture before each class, and then you get the eight two hour long classroom discussions. So it ends up being about 16 videos in total for each of these. Um, all right, then. So that's it. Uh, also, I still do astrology readings. Um, so hit me up for that at johndavidebert at gmail.com if you're interested. And uh, Patreon support is and Substack support is always much appreciated. I have something like 30 articles, I think, on uh, essays on, on Substack. So... Uh, that's still there, that, and I plan to continue with the substack. So, all right, so Philosophies and Mythologies of World History, May 13th through June 24th. Um, so I'll see you in class.